It has been less than a month since Iron Man Copenhagen. Towards the end of training, I have been doing some thinking and I'm not exactly done with my race season. Hey, it's Carly and Christian. We're a married couple that can't seem to say no to crazy adventures. Last week, we wrapped up our Denmark vacation with a little adventure around Lego. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. After two years of training, my Iron Man is done. You would think I would stop, but today's kind of an adventure. Woke up at 4 a.m. I have been on the trainer for two hours already. Got another hour left and a bit of a run. And if you're wondering why I'm already doing some of these things, just stay tuned. I've got something coming up. It is the 70.3 World Championship today. So I'm watching from home. Set on a rolling course on Zwift, longer intervals based off of the hills and the terrain. And then I'm running to the 5K and ending this break with a 5K in the middle of my training run. Should be a fun one. Five minutes left to ride. Almost there on my cool down. I will finish right around eight o'clock. The 5K I'm doing starts at 8.30. It is a mile and a half from our house. I'm hoping to get 20 minutes in and not completely deserve the start, you know, mob that always is there at the beginning and gonna kind of run around it try and get to it and we'll see how it goes also good practice for a fast transition we've officially started my run left the house at about eight o'clock so technically i timed it right to get this all done i had to wake up 4 a.m by choice because I'm a crazy person. <laughs> got breakfast, got on the bike, rode for three hours on a really hilly route on Zwift, and now I'm in my little warm-up run before a hard five-minute interval. And then a recovery, and then I jump into the race, doing the same thing. doing intervals in a race or part of your interval ride. The harder intervals are way easier than normal. Slowing down is super hard. At least that's backwards. I have one more hard interval. Almost there. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! I had two minutes to my cool down, so I just ran straight to the finish line. <laughs> I think I'm running some nuts. There are a few I'm still running.
I think it's nap time already. Um, but finished my three hour ride, 50 minute run, with most of the run being, or half the run being, in the little 5K that was in town. Um, it was a super great race, really friendly, good like intro to running, really fun, but then there was also like some really fast people. Um, so it was a really fun way to like mix up such a long workout, um, especially with watching Worlds and then going to that. So the reason my crazy self is still training is in just about 42 days, I think, if I did the math correctly, I am doing Ironman 70.3 Oceanside. So it was my very first half Ironman, I want to say like 10 and a half years ago. Um, before I took a hiatus in the distance stuff and triathlon for a little while. And it's a totally different course now, or the run course is totally different, but it's kind of fun. My hometown is right next to it. So I get to pretty much race in my hometown in a race that I did over a decade ago. So I'm really excited for it with all the deferrals that everybody racked up and didn't want to waste it. So I'm going to use this fitness and kind of parlay straight into a half iron man. So stay tuned. I will share more about my training and what's going on with that.